So there is apparently a very big Wanna update up ahead, so I think it's you know time to check what's this all about. So uh, game announcement: new content, bomber battleships. What is this going to look like? I wonder. The bomber battleship is a fortress on the battlefield, although armed with a reduced number of turrets, each possesses exponentially increased firepower output while maintaining the advantages of the original ship model. Its defense system and self-repair capabilities have been significantly enhanced. In addition, the ship is equipped with a new missile launcher bomb that can precisely strike targets and unleash devastating area damage. Bomber battleship can be equipped with the Citadel modules, which greatly increase repair amount and electronic warfare resistance, but will no longer be able to warp. The first batch includes a total of four ships. Rock Bomber excels in using the railgun with an excellent optimal range. It has high shield resistance and the capability to counter certain sensor dampening effects. Abaddon Bomber excels in using the laser with high armor resistance and capacitor warfare resistance it greatly enhances its endurance. Hyperion Bomber excels in using the railgun with further enhancement in armor strength on top of the decent repair mouth of its original ship model. Maelstrom Bomber excels in using the cannon with a high rate of fire, improving its energy efficiency while reducing the power requirement of shield repairs. How to obtain manufacturer based on the blueprint obtained via reverse engineering and from the event manual. Okay, so probably a box. Missile launcher bomb. That's a new weapon. Now, I'm not really sure what to feel like about those bomber battleships. I mean, I guess it's kind of nice that we have new ships. Told you in one of the last videos we, we will see new ships. But bomber battleships, that's kind of a new thing, honestly. Missile launcher bombs. A launcher with a unique structure that allows it to launch powerful bombs using only a small amount of power. Its damage, can, its damage type can be charged by loading different types of bombs. Only ships that support missile launcher bomb technology can be fitted with this module. After fitting, you must load bombs, ammunition, to be able to fire. If you unfit or replace the module or loaded ammunition, it will be discarded. So are we actually getting ammo? Uh, this, this does look like ammo to me. At least one form. At least bombs are now a ammo type. Firing across preheating. After preheating is complete, a bomb will be launched towards the front of the ship. The bomb will automatically detonate after reaching its maximum flight time and cannot be manually detonated. The bombs will damage all ship's drone structures within range, including the launcher itself. How to obtain manufacturing based on the blueprint purchased from the market. Lovely. That's beautiful. Bombs, ammunition, specialized ammunition for missile launcher bombs with different ammunition having different damage effects. Electron bomb, dealing EM damage over a large area. Scorch bomb, dealing thermal damage over a large area. Concussion bomb, dealing kinetic damage over a large area. Shrapnel bomb, deals explosive damage over a large area. We Void bomb, causes capacitor utilization over a large area. Inferno bomb, deals multiple types of damage and we causes capacitor utilization over a small area. How to obtain type 1 manufactured and based on the blueprint purchase from the market. How to obtain type 2 manufactured and based We're on the blueprint purchase from the underground market with ISK. Type 3 not available yet. That's kind of funny. They have three types, one is not available. Why even why even put type 3 there if it's not available? We are under attack. Termina Echo Nanocore. What the hell is this? The brand new Termina Echo Nanocore. It, have they been influenced by Wuthering Waves? And that game has echoes for, you know for things. <laughs> joke aside, that was a joke. Uh, the brand new Termina Echo series have undergone a technological revolution using black hole observation data, allowing them to deflect and reduce incoming yeah, damage, yeah, which yeah. can be partially absorbed and converted into energy for their own use. So special mode deflection absorption upon activation, the mothership and its drones gain 20% resistance to all damage types and 20 echoes, lasting 30 seconds. With a 30 second cooldown time after the mode ends, the nanocore will convert the uh, absorbed energy in the fight for its own benefit. I think this is for capitals, for super capitals, since it mentions drones, I believe they're mentioning fighters. Their echo level after the mode is activated, the ship will gain echo levels based on hits received, starting at 20 levels and maxing out at 50 levels. Once the mode ends, the ship's firepower will be increased by 10% to 25% and its flight velocity by 10 to 25%. Effects also apply to drones. 
based on the number of levels, the buff lasts 30 seconds. Gravity surges and time space intervene, waving the silhouettes of you and me. What the hell did I just read here? <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, so th this might not be only for super capitals since it does mention the ship itself. This is gonna be. I'm not really a fan of the Nello Core right away. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's. I don't know, we will see what will happen when this is launched. Drive active. New general limits. Add three general limits for Mothership Command Enhanced Module with the following effects. Command Enhancement Unit. Increasing the Mothership Command Module Enhancement Effect on Converse, but reducing the Enhancement Effect on Fighters. Output Enhancement Unit. Increasing the Mothership Command Module Enhancement Effect on Fighters, but reducing the Enhancement Effect on the Mothership. Flight Time Enhancement Unit. Uh, reduces the restart time by 30 seconds with version 10, but also reduces the enhancement effect. How to obtain? Obtain via the general box. Okay. New skills added three new skills that can be purchased with ISK and trained with ISK. Mothership Command Technology, the skill for operating the enhanced Mothership Command Module, it can increase the module's activation time, active. reduce fuel consumption, and enhance the damage and speed bonus for fighters. Bomb Deployment Theory, the skill for operating missile launcher bombs, it reduces the activation time and restart time of missile launcher bombs. Ammunition manufacturing increases the efficiency of manufacturing various types of ammunition, such as bombs, missiles, and ammo. So, okay. Good thing is, I think we are actually going to get ammo at one point. This is kind of proof for it that we are actually technically getting some ammo. So, I'll come to that in a moment. Let me just read the, the whole thing here. The equipment jamming effect of support projection implants will not disable special modules. Network sensor, logistic support, bomber frigate 3 gains one additional special highest slot for fitting the missile launcher bomb, increases ammo hold. The drop rate of fighter blueprints in the capital ship Warp Nihil space active. has been reduced, fixed an issue where blueprints for fighters of other factions were dropping, the overall yield has been lowered to normal levels. New event, you have the interstellar buzzer if you in, if you are into that, I mean you can you can read that. And yeah, the new nano core yeah, uh, kind of expected to see this since the anniversary is around uh, around the corner. So yeah, this kind of you know kind of expected to to see that in the game. Oh wait a second, there is a lot more balance updates. Oh, okay. Oh wait, wait a Docking second. Request yeah, that was that was last that was last uh, last week. My apologies. Almost almost went into the other into the other thing there. But overall. Ammo and bombs and new ships. That's the topic for the you know for this big update. Kind of a big change, a, a big I would say evolutionary change since you know we we have been asking for ammo for a while, and it does look like we are actually going to get ammo. So I'm quite excited to see how this rolls out. I kind of already said that personally I expected something like this a while ago, uh, but. Did not see the battleship bombers coming, but bomber battleship. I mean, for a second I actually thought that they would only allow the battleships have to have bombs, but seems like the bombers will also get bombs, and I'm really happy for that. I've been waiting for that for a while. Bomber fleets are about to be a lot Stop. more fun, and I, I think bomber fleets are about to to be very similar to what Eve Online bomber fleets used to be with the bomb launchers. You might be able to gather a bunch of bomber pilots and just eat into enemy territory and just bomb the hell out of whatever you find. I think that's gonna be pretty fun. But ammo, that's uh, yeah, it's not going to be an implant. It's not going to be a script. It's going to be, by, by the looks of it, from what I've seen here, it's actually going to be a ammo. And uh, seems like we are also getting a ammo hold, which means that that ammo hold will be available for most ships since down the road, I expect. Active. Uh, to see actual ammo introduced into the game, and I I'm actually quite excited for it. it. It's about time that we actually get some some proper ammunition. It doesn't seem like scripts. It seems like proper ammo that's going to be manufactured by based on what what, what I've seen here. So, good thing, phenomenal thing. Uh, been about time, honestly. Been been about time. I'm actually excited for this. So uh, we will see how things will go tomorrow. You can expect me to test out all of the ships and all of the bomb things and you know all the ammo. I'm fairly sure that it's going to be a demand on the market for that, so if you are into that, well, start manufacturing them t tomorrow. But, but yeah, uh, I'm going to be flying all of these ships to test them out, to test out the, you know, the performance, the stats, things like that. I think it's going to be pretty exciting to, to see how they will work. But with that being said, tell me what you think about this upcoming update. Are you, are you happy about bombs? 
I mean, I am happy about bombs. Interceptors are about to have some, some a very, very bad day. Not only Lancers, but now I think I'll, I'll just eat a bomber and I'll just wait for the Interceptors to, to come in my path and I'll just drop the bomb at I think that will be pretty fun, but, you know, tell me what you think about that. And well, with that piece, stay safe, fly safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.